Hey guys, Al here. Today we're gonna do a rupee in Blender and after importing it to Unity, we'll add some nice uh, little effects like the rotation you're seeing here and a shining particle effects. If you're a beginner, then this video is perfect for you. Alright, let's do this. So, start Blender, go to edit mode and uh, hit Ctrl R to cut the model. Now we want to scale it on the Z axis, so press S and Z, scale it like so. Cut it again, Ctrl R, scale, and here we go. We got it! Now we can export the model as an object file. Find your path. Also select uh, selection only and export. Now in Unity, uh, drag and drop the object file we just exported. Drag it onto the scene, change the scale, that's way too big. Place it a little bit like so. And now we want to um, change the color, so we make a material. Name it green. Let's change the color to green, a nice uh, bright green. Drag it onto the rupee model. And you can tweak the color as you prefer. That's good. Now let's add a component, new script. We'll call it um, effect rotating. Create an add. Go ahead and edit the script. Let it compile first. Delete everything and add a rotation field as a vector 3. We'll set it as a serialized field so we can tweak it in the editor later on. Uh, the update function is called at every tick of the game and there we call transform rotate rotation dot time delta time. That way the rotation speed depends on the real time and not the computer speed. Let's tweak the rotation value now. In Unity the vertical axis is Y, so go ahead and change that. Hit play to try. Ah, it's a bit slow. I would prefer the other direction as well. Good. Perfect. Finally, let's make a nice shining effect. So, add a component, particle system. First, we're gonna set the speed to zero. And let's make uh, the shape as a sphere and a little bit bigger. Now, that's good. Now, there are a little bit too many particles for my taste, so let's reduce the emission and add some burst for some variation, like so. Alright, good render, change the material, we'll choose a nice sparkle texture, I'll link it in the description below. Cool, the particles are too small, so let's change the start size. We'll use random between two constants, let's use 3 and 6. Not bad, let's adjust the color now to green. So we're almost there. Scroll down to size over lifetime. Edit the curve like so. You can double click to add a keyframe. Awesome. Go to rotation over lifetime and uh, let's try a value like 90 and 125. Not bad. Let's try it out. Let's go and hit play. So we got two problems left. The particle take too long to appear at the start and they are rotating with the rupee. Lucky for us, that's easy to fix. Hit pre-warm and set the simulation space to world. Almost. To my taste, the particle stay too long. Let's reduce the lifetime a bit. <laughs> awesome. We did it guys. Now feel free to make variation with some other colors. But remember to change the material color as well as the particle effect color. I think this looks pretty neat. 
So that was my first tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments below. Peace guys.